Just want to warn you that this is a vlog. Um, this took about a week, week and a half to record. Little bits here, little bits there. Um, I've been extremely busy where I have been recording two hours and then I gotta go do something else. So I've been really on a really tight uh, schedule lately. So that's the reason for having the vlogs. Either way, hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get this video going. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barba. Today we are gonna go ahead and start vlog number two. And we are let me see. We got something here. Let's see what he's got. If he's got something for me. Package wasn't for me, it was for my daughter. I don't know what she ordered, but the package is now inside. Um today. We are going to go ahead and mock up that intercooler. This intercooler, we got to get this back on there because um, I got the elbows on the way, the two elbows that I'm missing, and uh, we want to get this car running ASAP. I'm going to go maybe tomorrow and try to get the plates, get the car registered so this car could officially be on the road again. I did get a new tripod, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw you guys on here while I install this intercooler. I've been so busy with these other projects that I completely forgot that I needed to drill some holes into the frame on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this bolt semi in there, and then we'll go from there. This is gonna be a really tight fit. As you guys can see from the turbo, it comes out and it turns right here. And it's almost instant that it turns and it's like almost over here. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna have to cut that coupler, trim it down a little bit so it could go up, raise up, and maybe trim it on this side that way when I put my other coupler that goes that way all I do is put a a piece of piping right in the middle right there and everything will be connected um, that's as far as I could clock the turbo I can't go anymore in that direction I could go up this way but I can't go back anymore any further back I really don't have much to cut on this side so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this sharpie and I'm gonna sorta of outline it, but I'm gonna cut a lot bigger than what my outline is. That way I got room to play. And then on this side, I'm gonna have to do the same thing. I'm guessing we're gonna have to cut all this right here. But we are gonna wait on that side until we have the coupler because, here, let me get you guys off the tripod because I don't want to mess up the hole that I'm gonna cut so I'm just gonna wait 
And once I get the coupler, I'll go ahead and mock it up. And wherever it touches over there, I'll make the outline. But let me go ahead and drop this back off again. And get that piece trimmed. You guys already know that nothing goes according to plan. All the time. I forgot that Sheldon has my grinder. And he's not home right now. He's at work. So what I was going to do is I was going to run the grinder across. Go down and go back out this way. So instead, we are going to go ahead and use this. We are going to cut this out probably like right there. And that should give me the clearance that I need. This ain't the prettiest hole, but I'll get the job done. I'll be able to run my pipe right through there. Jeez, that's what she said. Today is a completely different day. And there goes the train. Today we're starting the vlog back at the secret spot. We're about to take the Civic for a few pulls. Sheldon's been working on this and he's about to uh, get it all tuned up. So if you guys are into that, Go down below and check out the full video over on his channel. It's all going to be downloaded over there. But I am going to give you guys a few little clips of the car doing some pulls. And this is the Alas VTAC. But Sheldon will get more into detail over on his channel about it. I'm freezing right now but I got the car on and we're about to head to the spot where the tuning is going to be taking place and uh, right now they're going to have to pull the car there's a bunch of snow out here in this driveway I don't know if you guys can see but there's a lot of snow actually let's, let's just go over there look at all this snow the car's all the way back there. So they're gonna have to drag the car with the strap right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're looking for a spot right now and Sheldon's gonna go ahead and street tune it out in Mexico, get this thing running good. We are back at the house. Um, the car's having a lot of issues right now, so it's gonna have to be retuned some other time.
This has been a crazy week, a crazy vlog. Today's day number five. We're back in my garage where we started the video. And I really wanna get this piping finished. As you guys saw, that LS VTEC has a lot of problems and it wasn't ready to get tuned. So the full video is actually gonna be, like I said in the video, in uh, Sheldon's channel, which the link will be down below if you guys are interested. And let me tell you guys that I did get my couplings already for this setup and i haven't touched anything but we are about to throw you guys on a time lapse and i'm gonna go ahead and just bust this out real quick This piece that you guys just saw me make is gonna go wedged right there where that opening is. So we have one 90 degree and another 90 degree. And then this is gonna sit right here between these two couplings. And that's what's gonna connect the 90 from the turbo to the 90 from the intercooler. There's always a problem. The problem now this time is that I ordered the wrong 90. So now I'm waiting on the mail again for the correct 90 to go right there. This one is from two and a half to three. I need a two and a half to two and a half 90 degree elbow. So that's the only thing that's holding me back. But you guys can see that this definitely is progress. I do not have the last one, uh, the last clamp bolted on yet because uh, the intercooler needs to come off because I need to tie in the bolts on the turbo and I can't really get to the back ones from the top so I got to go from underneath and the easiest way is to pull the intercooler out and the other thing that I have to deal with right now is this I got to figure out where I'm going to relocate this guy but besides that oh and the headlight the headlight is loose right now besides that everything's pretty much done except for those few little things let me tell you that this is definitely worth it because I'm saving a bunch of piping on that side and a ton of piping on this side. As you guys can remember, it went like this, it looped, and it came back. And now it's like a straight shot right there and this one, a 90, and a straight shot up that way. I haven't posted in a few days, but I'm going to go ahead and stop working on this because we got other things that we got to do and i know that you guys haven't had a video so i'm gonna go ahead and get you guys uploaded with that being said i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out stay safe catch you guys later
life. They look like it's dripping cause that rattle can't.